That was lovely, Mary, and thank you. You know, fellas, one of the most delightful aspects of being a master of ceremonies is that you get to know so many interesting people. Now, for example, I've always wanted to meet the man that I'm about to present to you now. He's not only the leader of one of the greatest swing bands in the country, but he's a fine instrumentalist as well. For our mutual enjoyment, then here's the sentimental gentleman of swing, Mr. Tommy Dorsey. Tommy, welcome to Mail Call. Thank you, George. You know, I've listened to you and your band so many times, and Tommy, I think you're great. But a whole new language has sprung up around the type of music that you play. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask a few questions about all that kind of talk that, you know, I may meet some young people, and I want to know that jive talk. <laughs> what is that about? What do they call a jive, don't they? You mean you don't dig it, George? Now, that's it, uh, dig it. Now, what does that mean, dig it? <laughs> well, it means you're not a half. You're not a last on Jackson. Is that so? <laughs> no, this I don't think I am. But tell me, how do you get latched on? Let me know about this. <laughs> well, it's easy, George. All you got to do is lace up your boots and an upper deck and string out a wise wire. <laughs> and from this you're making a living? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to do. Well, all right, tell me. Can I ask one more question? Sure, George. Look. What's wrong with the minuet? The minuet? Yes. George, that went out with brass hubcaps and bustles. It's way off the beam, man. It's super icky. <laughs> What'll I do with my crinoline? Super icky, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, George, you left to throw that crinoline away. I'm sorry. Uh, if you listen to me, I'll have you cooking off the front burner like a real get-off man. Is that so? Yeah, I'd certainly like to do that, really. <laughs> You have no idea how embarrassed I was the other night. Tell me, I had my little nephew over to the house with some young friends. He came over and he said, Uncle George, would you like to see me cut a rug? I said, yes, yes, I'd like to see you cut a rug, sonny. Well, anyway, now we got 12 small carpets in our living room. <laughs> I can't understand it, I guess. I don't know. Well, maybe the best way to explain it, George, is with my slush pump here. Your what? Slush pump. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's giant for trombone. You see... The different instruments have different names. For instance, my brother Jimmy and Benny Goodman, they play a thing called the, uh, they're known as the licorice stick sucker. And that's, uh, I think I was a sucker to start this whole thing. <laughs> Tell me, what are some of the other instrumentalists called? Well, a bass fiddler is a doghouse beater. <laughs> <laughs> a drummer is a, is a gut banger. Please, <laughs> A saxophonist is a reed wrestler. Mm -hmm. A French horn player is a pretzel bender. A violinist is a rosin sniffer. And a, a xylophonist is a wood chopper. Uh, now are you hip, Gate? Oh, solid tootie, Jack, solid. <laughs> George, you're mellow as a cello. <laughs> now I'm going to crash my choppers into some sweet meat and plant a few wrists for you that are really sunburned. Do that, Tommy. Go ahead. This, um, this is a sunburned riff? <laughs> sure. Okay. Now, here's some, uh, cob meat for you. You know, uh, corn, you I, know what I mean? I, I, I get it, yeah. Here, this you have with salt and butter. I understand that, of course. <laughs> now, now, get a load of this. All right, what? Go ahead. What, uh, what is that, Tommy? That's schmaltz. <laughs> well, brother, now you're getting in my department. Look. <laughs> First time I ever saw it come out of a trombone. Well, look, Tommy. I certainly appreciate this lesson. And next time you see me, I'll be a regular groovy Gus. Now, how about playing the tune that all the fellas hep or unhep? Love to hear you do. I got rhythm. You got it, Pop. I'm taking off. Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you.